Hey guys, it's Rosemary. We are late on the Instagram feed review. I didn't have one yesterday, but we're going to have a double dose today, so that's actually a win for you guys. Um, today, we're looking at my friend Aubrey's Instagram feed. She's totally beautiful, um, and so we are going to look at all of the things that she's selling. She's actually an MLM distributor, a network marketer, like probably many of you out there. And so the thing that I've said before about MLM businesses, you are competing with everyone else in your company to sell the same products. So what it has to be about on Instagram is about you and how you use the products and what you recommend and kind of your own twist on it, right? So the personal branding is really, really important if whatever you sell in network marketing uh, because you just try to set yourself apart from every other option of purchasing this product. Plus, you're also trying to onboard. There's two different um, almost offerings. You're trying to have people purchase product from you. So there's a retail aspect of it, but there's also a business building aspect of it where you're trying to bring on other distributors and build a team um, and have people kind of replicate what you do. So um, if that sounds like the kind of business that you're in, this is a good one to watch. So we're going to jump over to Aubrey's feed and I'm going to give some insights about that. So here is her, is her Instagram feed. Um, and the one thing I will say first, I mean, obviously I love the photo of her. The one thing I will say here is I'm familiar with lip sense, but I was not familiar with senogens. Like I was not clear that that's what lip sense is. I'm assuming Senegens is a company that does different beauty products and lip sense is one of their lines. Um, but that is not something that is well known. I didn't know that. And so, and I've been around network marketing for a long time and I know lots of people that sell lip sense. So what I would recommend doing, Aubrey, is using the most recognizable brand in your description. So when you say Senegence Distributor, you might want to put like Lip Sense plus Senegence Distributor or Senegence with, um, uh, what are, not hyphens, what are those called? Like, what are those called? Hello. The things. In um, brackets, I don't, my brain is not working. In brackets, put Lip Sense Senegence Distributor and just kind of explain what it is. Or you can say, you know, um, Senegence Beauty Line Distributor. Just making it really clear what Senegence is. It, that sounds like a health and fitness brand, it could be, or supplements or something. So really making clear what Senegence actually is. Um, I know that on your feed it's telling people that it's makeup, but people are probably more um, you know, used to hearing lip sense rather than Senegence. So that's something that I would recommend doing. Um, and then also, I would also recommend, it says shop and connect in your link tree. Um, I would probably put more like shop beauty um, or something like that, you know, to find my beauty, my favorite top five beauty products, click the link below um, or the click the link tree. So on your link tree, you have beauty VIPs and you click that and it pops up to your Facebook group. So you sell all of your products here from your Facebook group, which is great. And then you also have in your link tree, join my team and you have this form to become a distributor. So I like both of those. I think those are great. Um, like I said in your bio, I would probably just kind of flesh that out a little bit so people understand what they're shopping for, especially because in your feed, if this is going to be just your business account, I would probably steer clear of something like maybe this of your daughter, unless it's your daughter playing with your makeup. I would include that. This doesn't really flow or make sense to me so much at first glance, um, but I would flesh that out and make that content if you're going to share about your family, which I think is great. I think people that are in network marketing should share about their family, but have it tie in with what you're selling. So maybe you play with makeup with her. Um, images like I found before, um, maybe like the food images or these quotes about pizza or um, the fashion stuff. Like I think it's fine to include all of that if it's going to be something consistent, but just to have like a random shirt here and there or um, like a random recipe. For me, that doesn't make a lot of sense if you're selling this network marketing product. If it was something where you're gonna talk about um, like health and wellness, if you're selling a health and wellness product and then you're gonna talk about recipes, that fits a little bit better. But for me, fashion, I feel like does fit. So if this was you and you were like, okay, this is date night, this is my outfit I wore and this is the makeup, I feel like that could be a recurring theme that you could use over and over and over um, and just shoot like five different outfits and you have your whole month filled with content. Something like this too, I don't really feel like that fits your branded content as much. So really being clear about what your personal brand is going to be and the kind of content you're going to share. Um, so think about those content pillars. Are you going to share about your family? Are you going to share about fashion? Anything other than beauty. I love this, like little tutorials. Um, things like that are great. And I think this too, 
this is cute, but yeah, how does that tie in with makeup? So for sure, we want to remember that we're trying to become this lifestyle curator for people, this lifestyle magazine, if you will. And so would this belong in that magazine? Does that fit? Does the whole visual story all work together to tell that one personal brand story? And just you in general, I like that you're showing up, but I probably want to see more of you because like I said, this is about how you use the makeup. So more of your face and you're pretty so you can pull this off. You're literally the prettiest person ever. So try on that makeup, take a ton of selfies of yourself. And I know that these are images that the company probably provides to you, but everyone's using those, right? Every single person that's selling lip scents are using the same images. So more of you, more, more, more personal branding. And like I said, include your daughter. That's a, that's a cute thing to include, but maybe you holding her wearing the makeup, that type of stuff. Um, so just really clearing up that content and your Facebook group, what I would recommend is if you are linking anyone, if you're linking to another social platform, try to make that as visually seamless as you possibly can. So what they're seeing here on Instagram, if you're having them click over somewhere else, make sure it fits. So if this is going to be kind of your color palette you're going to be sharing in your content, which I think is cute, I want to see that also here on your feed because we want to make sure people aren't confused. We want to make sure they're having the same exact experience every time we come in contact with them. Let me click back over to me. And that's it, that's my suggestions for you. Um, if you are also a LipSense seller or you are in a different network marketing company, all of those same things still apply. You, you, you. Infuse your content with how you use the product. Photos of you using it, your stories, your testimonials, or if you want it to be less about you, maybe it's your customers. Maybe you do makeovers. I think that would be a great thing for you to share is different makeovers of your friends, family, neighbors. Get out there, make those relationships, make those connections, and then you translate it online. It's really all about what you do in person. So start putting that content together. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.